In this video, I want to very quickly show you how you can port demand and supply using Excel. I'm on a Mac today, but the methodology is very similar on PCs. It might just look a little bit different. In order to graph demand and supply, we need three columns. We need the price column, the demand, and the supply quantities of whatever good or service this represents. Looking at our dummy data, we can see that it makes economic sense. As the price increases, the quantity demanded falls. This represents consumers who are unwilling to pay a higher price for whatever this good or service is. When we graph this, we wanna see a demand curve sloping down. Similarly, when we look at the supply curve, we notice that as the price goes up, the quantity that firms are willing to supply also rises. This represents the additional profit they'll be able to make and extract from the market as those prices go up. So it's really simple to plot this. All we need to do is select the data, go up to insert and click on a scatter plot. We want the scatter plot with lines because that's going to help us visualize this data and the associated trends. Okay, great, it's inserted a figure, but we have a problem. What it's done is it's inserted the prices on the horizontal axis and the quantities on the vertical axis. But we wanna see prices on the vertical because we wanna be able to visualize the change in quantity as the prices change as well. Now, this is really easy to fix. All we need to do is right click on the figure, go to select data, and we're just gonna remove these two old figures and we're gonna add in the same ones again, but we're gonna change the values on the different axes. So the first one we need to add is demand and we're going to use the X values as the quantities demanded and the Y values as the prices. And there we go. You can see that that demand curve has been added and it slopes down nicely, which is exactly what we thought it should using our economic theory. So we can go in again and add now the supply data. We could have done this at the same time, but I just wanted to do it this way to show you how it's done. So adding the supply, the X values, and those Y price values. Okay, brilliant. You can see here that we have the demand and the supply curve. They're not straight lines like we would expect in our economics textbooks because the world is very rarely linear uh, despite what we're often taught in class. But we can see here a point where the demand and supply are equal, which is our equilibrium. The supply curve, of course, is sloping up, which is also what we expect. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You've plotted demand and supply and using this, you could see or visualize the equilibrium price. If you want me to make a specific video on just formatting these kinds of figures, give me a like, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to reply. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.